See, here's the thing. We're we both here right take now. Our clothes off. So sexy. We have to put it on that. We have to take our clothes off to have a good time. Oh, no, no, no. Excuse me, miss. I couldn't help but to notice how alone you are. I take the attitude and how you're acting like you own the bar. Got me flashing keys and I don't even own a car. Felt like you ain't feeling my charm because I know you are. I'm trying to see how your lips feel. Oh, I'm sorry, my name is Travi and I'm pretty much a big deal. Oh, you never heard of me? Hmm. That sounds absurd to me. Hey guys, it's uh, Ashton and it's week 59 with. Uh, I think we're talking about gender markers. Sorry, my dog's being weird. Anyway, um. So, I have not changed my gender marker, or my name, legally, um, but I do have a little information as to um, the state of Texas. Um, it's not the easiest state in the world to do that. Um, you have to have a, um, sorry, um, you have to have a court order, and uh, in order to change anything at the DMV or anywhere else for that matter um, to change your gender marker and then uh, <laughs> I'm sorry um, yeah and then in, in Dallas um, I'm gonna have to edit this <laughs> uh, in Dallas you um, it, it's hard to find a judge that is sympathetic uh, to grant you the court order to change your gender marker. Um, you have to hire a lawyer, and I'll probably have to go to Dallas. It'll be expensive. Um, a name change is not that hard, but the gender marker is. Um, but the thing about it is I heard, um, I've heard, I'm not sure how uh, valid it is, that if you change your name, without changing your gender marker it then makes it difficult or impossible to change your gender marker without completing a name change at the same time so um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that um, right now I don't really have a, a reason um, I'm gainfully employed I'm not in any type of school um, I'm pretty like set as far as like my social circle um, so, I don't really have a push for it. Um, now, if I ever were to try and get a new job, um, that's something I would probably look at doing before uh, submitting resumes and all that kind of stuff. Um, depending on where I go to work, because um, if I leave my current job, uh, I plan on hopefully moving to um, California to the Bay Area and hopefully people would be more sympathetic and understanding but who really knows um, so yeah oh and with your gender mark on your birth certificate here you can't even um, change it completely it's just an amended birth certificate where they put uh, like female is always still on there and I don't know if they just put an asterisk with the male or I've never actually seen one but it's just an amended birth certificate um, so it will always show female in some way, shape, or form, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, that's about all I know about changing your gender marker here. I haven't actually done any of it because it seems to be quite difficult. Um, the other thing, I had a couple of things that I wanted to mention. Hopefully it's not a big deal that isn't related to this. One is if anyone's going to SCC, let me know. I've been thinking about going, but... I don't want to go by myself, and it doesn't look like anyone around here is going, so. Two. <laughs> the dog. I don't know. Two is, um, I'm, I still perform drag, and I don't have a, um, I don't see the issue with it. Some people do, but. Anyway, I am doing a fundraiser. Uh, I'm part of a show in August that is a fundraiser for, and it's in a national event called Kings for a Cause. Um, and the national organization is Camp Kendall, and then the local organization that the money will go to is our youth, it's called Youth First Texas, it's a local youth organization. I'm doing a song and I want to put a slideshow together where, um, 
where people uh, are expressing themselves. Uh, just uh, kind of like a motive inspirational type slideshow. So if anybody wants to email me pictures of themselves to be in my slideshow, that'd be cool. Um, just inbox me on YouTube and I will send you an email address that you can send those pictures to. Uh, mm, if you have any questions or if you have any information about changing your gender marker in Texas, that would be greatly appreciated. So yeah, I hope everybody's having a great week.